Hello everyone, what's up? In this video, we will discuss what are directives and how to use directives in Angular. So what are directives? Directives are used for extending HTML attributes. That means you can use these directives to interact with DOM elements. You can do interaction in a way like you can change the behavior, you can show or hide particular directive, particular attribute. So there are three types of directives. First one is component, second one is structural directives and third one is attribute directives. So this first directive component we have already discussed in the previous section of videos and you must have also seen it in the component TypeScript file. Let's discuss another directives. So another one directive is attribute directive. So these directives are used to change and manipulate the behavior of DOM elements. Like you can change the style, you can change the class. Some examples like ng style, ng class, ng model. So these are some built-in directives and we have already used it in the previous section of videos. So we won't discuss it in this video. In this video, we will only discuss the structural directives. So what are structural directives? These directives can add or delete the DOM elements. Okay, some examples like star ngf, star ng4 and star ng switch. So in this video, we will only discuss the first directive that is star ngf, how to use that. So let's take one example, make a division and we're going to give this division one bootstrap class that is row. That means we will make this division a row and inside this row we will take a column along with some offset okay so write div dot call sm then 8 dot offset sm2 okay so this is the shortcut to make a class by writing dot syntax okay vs code provides us this ability to write classes by writing dot okay so in this division I'm gonna take one form okay it's your choice you can take form or you can take directly input elements I'm taking directly input elements because I want user to put some data okay so in this input I will ask user for entering his or her name okay so wrap this input with the form group division that is a bootstrap class for making a form input elements look more nicer okay also give this input a class form control which is also a bootstrap class and give some placeholder to, to this input okay inside this we, we want a user to enter the name copy this division and paste it again for taking another input in which we will ask user to enter the password okay now in placeholder you can write password okay sorry I, I wrote last name here you will write password okay you can take any input it's your wish I'm just showing you how to use star ng if so what I'm gonna do is if user enters password or name less than five characters I'll show one error message so in that error message I'm gonna use star ng if let's see how to use that so take a span element inside this span element I'm gonna write the error message that the application will show when the user writes password less than five character okay so take a division inside the division take a span element inside the span element you can write the error message that you want to display okay for now I'm writing like invalid password please enter more than five characters okay you can write any error message that you want to display okay now what I'm gonna do is copy this division and paste it beneath the first input because we want to show the error message for both the input okay now save your work and compile it let's see how our application is looking right now okay everything is done save it and compile it wait a minute yeah now save it and compile it okay it's gonna take few minutes wait for that okay now open your browser and see how our application is looking okay it's coming okay 
yeah so this is the interface of our application okay okay so now we want to show this error message only when user is typing less than five characters so to do that first we will provide some reference to both these input elements we can do that by giving name attribute as well as ng model directive okay so by this way we can bind our input element with some variable name okay similarly do it for the another input okay now we will write star ng if in the error message division so we will only show this division when name dot length will be less than equal to five okay that means whenever the characters will be less than equal to five in the name input then only this division block will be shown similarly do it for the password input provide some name attribute and bind it with ng model directive okay now similarly write star ng if in the error message okay go to the error message division and write star ng if equals to pass dot length less than equal to 5 okay also don't forget to provide these two variables pass and name in your typescript file okay you would have to declare these two variables in typescript file because we have used ng model direct directive which will see those variables in the typescript file okay now save your work and compile it okay okay you can also give some css for your error messages okay let's write span and you can give any color that you want for your error message okay i'm taking red color and i'm taking font size let's say 10 pixels okay so yeah now everything is done we have also provided styling to the error messages now save your work and compile it and let's see how our application is looking okay wait for a few minutes okay now open your browser and check whether the application is working correctly the way the, we wanted actually it to work as or not okay let's see it's still compiling wait okay yeah now open your browser and let's check it's refreshing wait for a few minutes yeah it is coming now enter characters more than five as you can see when we are entering more than five characters the error message is not displaying but when we are dis when we are writing less than five characters then the error message is shown so yeah our application is working so in this video you learned how to use star ng if directive thank you for watching video subscribe for more videos